Hello everybody and welcome to another video on my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, my name is Zena. I am a certified esthetician and nail technician in Saskatchewan, Canada. So today's video is something that I haven't done a lot of recently. I apparently haven't been getting in a ton of new products, but I have a new haul for you guys. So I have in this box some products from Clear Jelly Stamper. So I placed an order recently and it came in the mail the other day, so it's a kind of a mini haul. I didn't order a whole bunch because I didn't need a whole bunch, but I wanted to get some new products for you guys and share them with you. And I will also show a little bit of how I stamp, kind of a little mini tutorial. I know everybody has kind of different stamping styles, but I find... I have found a system that works really well for me, so I want to share my tips and tricks with all of you. So just keep watching. Okay, so here is just a quick little overview on everything that I recently purchased from the Clear Jelly Stamper. I ordered from the Canadian website, which I will link or post down here and I also link down in the description box but this is all I ordered so like I said it's just a little mini tutorial so let's jump in and take a closer look at all of these okay so this is the first thing that I purchased and this is their French Manny brush so I'm just going to take it out of the little sleeve I love when brushes come like this and they are a little bit protected Okay, and this is what the brush looks like. So it is a double-ended brush, and then it's got some really pretty kind of crystal details in the center, which I love when companies add a little bit of cuteness into their design. So on the one end of this brush is just a very thin detailer, which I am excited to try. This looks very similar to the one that I love and use all the time, so I can't wait to give this a try. Then on the other end is the French, French manicure side. So this is a very uniquely shaped brush and it's to do an easy French manicure. So you would go along the side and just kind of one swipe, then you'd flip it and two swipe and it would be done. So I am really really excited to give this brush a try. I don't do a whole lot of painted on French, but I definitely want to give this a try because I think just with the shape of this, you will get a gorgeous, nice smooth smile line and really easily. So another kind of tool that I picked up, this is their brand new double-ended crystal stamper. So it has a kind of a medium end and then a small end. So let's take it out of this packaging. I love this packaging. It's so cute. They have kind of a little bow on top. Such cute packaging. Okay, so this is what comes in the double-ended crystal stamper kit. So you get a, a card to wipe off the excess polish when stamping, which I love these cards. They are not super flexible, but they're also not going to scratch your plates all up. So I love that they include these little cards in all of their stamping kits. And then this is the double-ended stamper. So again, they have the really cute crystal detail in the center. And then I love that Clear Jelly Stamper includes caps for all of their stampers. It just ensures that the stamper stays a little bit nicer and it's definitely protected when it's in your drawer. So I'm just going to grab out my Big Bling Stamper just to compare the size for you guys. Okay, so this is the Clear Jelly Stamper Big Bling. Mine is in horrible shape because I use it all the time and I am a very messy stamper. But this is the Big Bling, so with this one you have double caps. And then here is your stamper portion and then you just look through when you're stamping. So this is the size of the Big Bling. And then there's the size of the kind of medium end of the double-ended one. So as you can see, it is quite a bit smaller than what the Big Bling is, which is awesome because the Big Bling is, like, compared to a nail, it is huge. So this one's definitely a little bit more nail. If you have shorter nails, it's a little bit more a better size, but the heads on them are identical, in my opinion. And then compared to the Big Bling, this is what the 
smaller size looks like so it's definitely quite a bit smaller so this one will be really good for precision stamping so yeah this is the double ended one and I actually just realized that they do come apart so you can fully see through them I have the lid on this one but so this little crystal part comes apart so you can see through both ends similar to the big bling which that's really cool Okay, and then I picked up two new stamping polishes. Well, they're not necessarily new, but these are the 10 milliliter sizes of the stamping polishes, and the regular ones are three, three or five milliliters. I can't remember. I'll post the link, the correct answer down here, but I can't remember. They're either three or five. So I picked up the black and the white one in the bigger sizes. So there's just a little size comparison between the smaller size and the bigger one. So there is quite a bit of difference and I go through white and black the most so I figured I would grab the bigger size just to have in my collection. Okay and then lastly I picked up four of their small stamping plates. Okay so this is the first small plate that I picked up and it is clear jelly stamper plate number 26, sunflower and leaves. So I thought this one would be gorgeous for kind of the fall. I know I'm a little early, but I also do a lot of floral print all year round. So we have, this is a layered stamping plate. So you'd start with the outline or the inside, and then you would kind of work your way and build it up with different colors. So I love the layered plates. They give a very unique look. Okay, up next, this is CJS LC02. And this is a collaboration plate with Black Queen Nail Design, and it is tribal. So it's got a whole bunch of different tribal prints. I really am not good at doing this type of print, and lots of my clients like it, and I just thought there was so many possibilities with this plate. So I picked it up. The next one I picked up is plate number 44, and this is the Victorian Flourish plate. So it has a whole bunch of really pretty kind of scrolling designs, which are great to accent in really any kind of design. And then this is the last plate that I picked up, and it is plate number 18, Drinks and Fruit Doodle. At a client, I have a client wanting pineapples, so this one has some really cute kind of layered pineapples, some bananas, some kind of storm clouds, umbrellas along with just some kind of fun doodles. So I thought that was a really cute plate and I picked it up specifically for my client that wants the pineapples, but I am sure I will get lots of use out of this one. Okay, so that was my little mini haul. And now let's test out some of these plates and this new stamper and do a little mini tutorial. Okay, so before you start stamping, you will want to make sure that you have everything out and ready. Especially with the clear jelly stampers, I find you have to work relatively fast before the polish dries. So you want to make sure you have everything you will need ready. So I have a lint roller for removing any product left on my stamper. I always stamp over a paper towel because I am a very messy stamper, so this protects my desk from any polish. You will want to remove the blue film off of your plate. So when the plates come, they come with this blue film. So just find an edge and remove the blue film. I have a couple different polishes ready. I have my stamper, my scraper, and then in this bottle I just have some nail polish remover. And then another nice thing that Clear Jelly Stamper included in my package was how to use your Clear Jelly Stamper. So this is just a step-by-step -step list of instructions on how to use the product, which is really handy if you are a first-time user of the Clear Jelly Stamper. So I decided I'm going to show you the layered stamping because that's what some people have the most trouble with, especially picking up these larger indented images. So let's do a sunflower. And for the sunflower, I'm going to use the medium head on my double-ended one because I feel like the small one might just be a touch too small, but we're going to use the medium one. Okay, even though this is a brand new stamper, 
To clean off the images or anything, I just have my lint roller that's really sticky and I just kind of give it a nice little roll over my lint roller. And then you always want to clean off your stampers before you start. This one's brand new so it will be fine, but I always just go over with a little bit of my nail polish remover just to get rid of any debris or anything that may be left on it from storage. Okay, and then I've just prepped um, a swatch stick with some white gel on it. I've fully cured and I've wiped off the dispersion layer. So the first color that I'm going to go in to do this larger one is Clear Jelly Stamper number 14. And it's kind of a dark yellow color. So uh, you want to make sure your polishes are fully shaken. And you want to work quickly. So be sure you have all your supplies right close to you. So I'm just going to get some polish out, apply it, 45 degree angle, swipe, and pick up. So as you can see, that wasn't a perfect pickup, so I'm going to try again. I would fill this in with the next layer, but just for the sake of this tutorial, so I didn't quite have enough polish pooled in my design, so that's why it is missing those little specks in the center. So I'm just going to wipe it off, and it transfers, and this is perfectly clean now. Going in with some polish remover just to take off that stuff. And you want to wipe off your stamper as well. Okay, so there we have our image. There's a hole in the center, but there's a hole in the center on the plate as well, so that is okay. Sometimes you just have to play around with the direction you're scraping, and sometimes if you scrape multiple times quickly, it will fill in any voids in the stamper. So now that we have that, we are going to transfer it onto our And as you can see, I was talking and I waited too long, so it doesn't want to transfer. So you want to pick up quick and then transfer right away to avoid this from happening. But I'm just going to stick it back onto there. It will always come off on the lint roller. And let's work a little quicker this time without me talking in between. Okay, so there is our base layer. So with this extra I have on the sides, I'm just going to take a little Q-tip with some polish remover and just clean that up. Okay, so there we have it all cleaned up. So that is our base layer. So now let's go in with the second layer. You also want to be sure that you're always closing your stamping polish as soon as you can because they are so pigmented that they dry out really quickly. So for my next layer, I am going in with number 20, which is this really pretty kind of yellow gold color. So there we have it. Then you just want to line up the images. And press down. So there we have that second layer. And again, I'm going to go in with my acetone and just clean up this little blob down here. And then for the last inside of my stamp, I'm just going in with the black stamping polish, which is number one. Okay, and there is the finished layered sunflower stamp. So I hope this little mini tutorial helped some of you. If you have any trouble stamping with Clear Jelly Stamper, just comment down below and I am definitely more than happy, more than happy to kind of help troubleshoot if I can. 
So yeah, be sure to check back next Monday for a new video. Be sure to be following me on all my social media, and I'll see you all then. Bye for now.